hello friends and welcome to my channel go digit today in this video we will gonna discuss uh, about the feature called access modifier in the business central okay so uh, there is a property for the table and the fields called access and there are multiple options in it so we will see what is uh, the meaning of each option and uh, how we can check the output of each option of the access property and see the basic difference behind all of those options okay so just for the convenience I have uh, already created a project called AL project 8 and here as you can see I have created one table and the one page of it and uh, there are four fields here which I define in a field in a table okay so let's uh, add this access property for each field one by one so I go to the field one and here if you type access and press control space then you will find that there are four options available which I can use in this particular property so by default if you do not add this property to any field system will consider it as public okay you do not need to explicitly add this property as public in a particular field but because we are learning so I will add it here so public means that this field of this particular table will be available to this complete project now if I add any particular new object and try to use this field by creating a variable of the table I can easily access it outside of this extension or inside of this extension alright now let's see uh, let's add the access property for the field number 2 and this time I will add it as internal okay so internal means that this field will be available only to this extension AL project 8 okay so if I add any number of objects in this project this field will be available to me but if I try to access this field outside of this extension or application or the project then this field will not be available to me alright now for the third field the rest of the options are local and protected so I will add it here as local so local means as its name suggests that this field will be accessible only inside of this object not even of this object so if I create a page of this table then also this field will not be available there okay that means I cannot show this field inside a page and if I create a table extension of this table then also this field will not be available to me we will see it okay uh, now in the field 4 let's define it as the last option which is protected so uh, the working style of protected and local is very much common if I talk about its current project okay so as I told you about the local same concept applies to protected field also that this field will be available or accessible to this particular object only this field will not be available to this page or any of the object if I create in this extension so it will not be available and same is applicable like if I create another extension then also this field will not be available but the difference between local and protected is that if I create the table extension of this particular table then this field will be available to me there I can access it I can read it and access it but the but the local field will not be available alright so let's see the difference 
as you can see uh, I have already created a page but I have added number and name only as you know that number is defined as public so it is available to me name is defined as internal and thus it is available to me because I am working in the same project now let's try to add a field called let's say email or rec dot email and as you can see I am getting an error that email is inaccessible due to its protection level right email is defined as protected one so still I am getting an error now if I type address then also I am getting an error that address is inaccessible due to its protection level okay so it is completely understandable now that whether you are trying to access the protected field or you are trying to access the local type field both fields will not be available to you in another object of the same extension or the different extension right so I'm getting an error in both types of field now let's see uh, it further by trying to create another new project and add this project as a dependency there okay so here it is I have created another project called AL project 9 and for your reference I have added the dependency with the name of AL project 8 which we created earlier or seen it earlier okay so by adding it uh, in a dependency now all that object of table and page is available to me here so let's do one thing so we will create a code unit okay and I will add one variable of the same table let's say access mod record access mod dot al all right so if I type this access mod dot so you can see here that only number field is showing to me not name email and address why because number is defined as public so it will be available to whole system but name which is defined as internal so I told you that if a field is internal then that field will be accessible to that particular uh, extension only and this extension is different one so it is not available and same concept for email and address because they are uh, highly protected so they are available to that particular object only and not any other extension so uh, this uh, through this we can see that other fields are not available so uh, just to understand the clear difference between local one and the protected one I will create one table extension here and access mod it will extend the table access mod okay so here what I'll do is I add one trigger on modify and see email field is showing me here why because email is defined as protected field and I told you earlier that if you define any field as protected one then that field will be available to its table extension object also only to its table extension not any other object whether whether you're working in the same application or the different application okay so email is available but now let me type address and as you can see address is not available so this means if a field is defined as local then that field will be available to 
only that particular object not to its stable extension also so this is the basic difference between the local type field and the protected type field so uh, this is how we can make the use of this access property and add an extra protection of layer or security of uh, security layer in our uh, development in our application okay so in today's era where uh, each company is facing the security threats and data protection uh, is very much important nowadays so we should always uh, see what we can do uh, to achieve that extra layer of protection or to add that layer in our development in our data so we should do that and thus I request you that if you guys are not using this property till now then please uh, discuss with your team and start using it so that it will help you to uh, get rid of unwanted I don't want to name it after unwanted okay so you better understand that so uh, that's all uh, which I want to share in this today's video I hope uh, you have uh, understood the concept of uh, access property and if you like this video I request you to please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video